Let's get on to the third now. It's pick six time. Hopefully we've got a pick six worked out that we can catch today. Form has been fairly solid from a weighted to win perspective. And is Inara's dynasty a pick six banker who's currently at eight to 10 when we did the show? Or is Simply Beautiful going to make it run the 18 to 10 second favorite? The market, Darren, doesn't want to know. They claim it's an absolute two horse race. What do you think? It's an absolute one-off race, Clyde. Inara's dynasty, eye-catching second last time out, and I'm expecting her to prove five lengths from that run. I think she'll end up a runaway winner from your second favourite to fill the second spot. Inara's dynasty race over. Daryl? Yeah, very surprised to see that you opened up second favourite, Clyde. I think she opened in the region of 15 to 10. Oh, I didn't know um, that. Is that yeah. so? uh, Mind-boggling, to say the least. I, I can't see the Simply Beautiful, who's... Honest, but very limited, given her three kgs. Um, I expect Inanda's uh, dynasty to one convincingly. Clyde, mm. I thought she learnt a lot from her run one to run two. My only concern is the distance. I think um, she'll be better when she goes a little bit further, but her class will certainly pull her three over here. One for the trifectas, number nine, the agent's muse. I know she's well held on form, but she can only improve with that effort under her belt. And she's very well related. She's a half-sister to Rescalion. So maybe she could sneak into the money this time around. Well, let's put the pick six up. We know how confident the guys are. So here's the obvious pick six for them, where they're bankering the six and then bankering the five in the second leg. And then you can see we want to load. It's a pick six they don't want to miss. So touch wood, the first two horses land for us. We'll catch this pick six then, surely, with all those horses loaded at the back. It's a 1960 for a full unit or 196 rand for 10%. Don't forget to scan that code, take your phone up there, and it's an easy way of getting it on. Well, they're all talking about Inora's dynasty, and we'll show you now when Inora's dynasty was lost at Durbanville. This was over at 12.50. Here's a look at what happened. We'll pick it up uh, with uh, some 300 meters left to go, and does end up running second, Daryl, to Queen of Sparta on this occasion. Yeah, Clyde, you can see Inora's dynasty on the fence just behind the lead over there, and when she switches out, she finally gets into some sort of strike cloud. She really does good work late. And then you can see she actually gets interfered with towards the latter stages. Um, the winner just hung out slightly and she had to be taken up for a few strides. So she should have certainly finished much closer. Yeah, okay. Closing in hand over first. That's the one to beat.